is time. It's time for the lightning round of Kramer's Everybody. That's right. Take calls. Rapid fire. One after another. You say those numbers. I say Bye bye bye. So if we're going to know the course, not course. Everybody say bye bye. We play the sound. And then the lightning round is over. Are you ready, Ski Daddy? Time for the lightning round. Kramer's Everybody. Let's go with Ramesh in North Carolina. Ramesh. Hi, Jim. Hi. How are you? I am good. How are you? I'm good. I just well, I just had one question on Tesla. Like, is that a good buy at this level? Well, I just it just ran about 40 points of about the pickup truck. It's giving back about 20. I think you, if you really do want to buy it, I'm not going to necessarily recommend buying it. You wait another, another 10, 15 points down, and then maybe take a look. Let's go to Nick in Maryland. Nick. Hey, buddy, Jim. Thanks for taking my call. Of course. Hey, um, uh, two-part question. Dunkin' Donuts, do you like it, and is now a good time to get in? Um, actually, I prefer Starbucks to Dunkin' Donuts. Starbucks is way down from its high, and I think it's got more uh, momentum and uh, has gotten too cheap, so that's one I prefer. Let's go to Allen in Colorado. Allen. Hey, greetings from snowy Denver. Oh, I didn't know snowy there. Good to have you. Yeah, a little bit. Uh, my question is about Lamb Research. It's been a, a great but volatile investment over the last 20 years. Oh, Going it's been crazy. But you know what? We're up about uh, you know, about 80 points for the Travel Trust. Uh, it's given that, we, we did trim back a lot because it, we didn't want to be pigs. Bulls make money, bears make money, and pigs, they get slaughtered. Uh, I would wait a little bit before I would buy more. I don't know. Maybe it goes down to 240. It's been very volatile, as you said. Let's go to Albert in Florida. Albert. Hey, old buddy. Booyah to you. I've been watching you since you were on with Kramer. I mean, Cutler. Recording the shows every night. I thank thank you. Oh, fantastic. Thank you. Listen, you recommended a 5G play a while back, and I bought a small position in Marvell. Yes. What do you think? I think think the world of this company will. Is this quarter necessarily going to be good? I mean, it's caught up in the trade talks. But who has an unbelievable portfolio of 5G along with a lot of other things that make cell phones work better? It is Marvell, very big position for my travel trust. You can follow along at actualwordsplus.com by joining the club. And I think you'll find that MRVL remains one of the better names in technology. You're John in Missouri. John. Booyah, Kramer. Booyah. Well, thank you. Thank you for everything you do for the home gamer. Oh, I would thank like you. to get your thoughts on a biotech, Cura Oncology, ticker K U R A. Look, it's got personalized treatments uh, for uh, uh, cancer, and anyone who's doing personal immunology, I have liked as a spec and a spec only. Let's go to Deborah in Ohio. Deborah. Hi, Jim. I just love you. And oh, I also well, wanted you, to know Deborah. I joined your club, and I love your club, and recommend it to all your viewers. Uh, you're My terrific. Thank you so much for being a part uh, of it. Thank you. My stock is NetEase, symbol N T E S. You know what? This is uh, it's a Chinese internet play uh, that I have been skeptical on and not correctly skeptical, and uh, so therefore I'm going to have to say. It's not, you, look, you're a member of the club. You know, I don't ever go beyond my uh, range of thought. And this one is a befuddling stock to me about why it goes up. In fact, it has good dividend. And let's go to Dustin in Arizona. Dustin. Booyah, Mr. Kramer. Booyah. Hey, my friend, I would love to hear your advice on buy, sell, or hold on Ulta. I, heard I think Ulta's been beaten up enough. I know a lot of people feel that last quarter wasn't that good, and there are some problems definitely in skin care. We know that, but I want to. I believe in Mary Dillon. I wouldn't buy all of it at once because I do think that uh, they're going to report in a couple of weeks, and there's still possibility that it won't be a blowout quarter, but they got a great loyalty program, and they're doing so many good things. I'm not deserting Ulta. Jim in Massachusetts. Jim. Hey, Jim. How you doing? I'm doing well. How are you? Good, good. Here's a great weekend. Booyah to you. My stock is $2 off. It's 52-week low and has several buy recommendations. It's CareDX CDNA. Yeah, that's a diagnostic surveillance company. I don't. I tell you, it's, it's too risky for me. It just doesn't have what I want to see in even a spec. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the conclusion of the Lightning Round. Don't miss a second of Mad Money. Follow at Jim Kramer on Twitter. Have a question? Tweet Kramer. Hashtag Mad Tweets. Send Jim an email to madmoney at cnbc.com or give us a call at 1 800 743 CNBC. Miss something? Head to madmoney.cnbc.com.